My name is Anthony Ribas. I'm a professor of medicine at UCLA, and I'm the director of the tumor immunology program at the Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center. The original objective of this clinical trial was safety of a new drug called pembrolizumab. As the study was conducted, the objective changed to assessing early evidence of anti-tumor activity. This paper reports on a phase one expansion of pembrolizumab, a first-in-class anti-PD-1 blocking antibody that unleashes immune responses to cancer. This clinical trial started as a cohort of patients with metastatic melanoma being treated with pembrolizumab at a certain dosing regimen of 10 mg per kilogram every two weeks. After the first 30 patients were entered, there was evidence of anti-tumor activity in a significant number of them. So the study was expanded to up to 655 patients to better assess the dosing regimen and anti-tumor activity. In this clinical trial, pembrolizumab had an objective response rate of 33%. This is in all patients uh, entered the, in the study which tested three dosing regimens of pembrolizumab. There was no difference in the dosing regimens. In patients who were previously untreated with metastatic melanoma, the response rate was 45%. Out of the patients who had an objective response, the majority of them maintained the objective response. At one and two years, 75% of the patients continued to respond. The median overall survival in the whole population was 23 months, which compares favorably to what was known of the median survival of metastatic melanoma to any other prior therapy. 14% of the patients had grade three or four toxicities, which are clinically significant adverse events. The majority of those side effects were managed by temporarily stopping the treatment or giving symptomatic treatments only 4% of the patients had to stop the therapy because of adverse events. This clinical trial led to the approval of pembrolizumab based on a breakthrough status designation by the Food and Drug Administration. The first approval was in patients who had previously progressed on prior therapies, including ipilimumab, and afterwards it was expanded to patients with metastatic melanoma with any uh, prior therapy. After this Phase one expansion trial, the next steps were a phase two and a phase three clinical trials. These clinical trials have already been conducted and have led to the approval of pembrolizumab across the world for patients with metastatic melanoma. 